Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin. Today's video is on Anora Ellipta. So Anora Ellipta inhaler contains two active ingredients, umeclidium and philanterol. These work in different ways to relax and open the airways, make it easier to breathe. Anora Ellipta is used for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in adults aged 13 or 18 years and over. So note that an oral elliptic should not be used to relieve an attack of breathing difficulty. Instead, it should be used regularly each day to keep the airways open and help prevent breathing difficulties. The two active ingredients in an oral elliptic inhaler work in different ways to relax and open airways and make it easier to breathe. So umeclidium is a type of medicine called an anticholinergic bronchodilator. It blocks receptors in the lungs to which a substance called acetylcholine normally binds. By blocking these receptors, the muscles in the airways relax, causing the airway to open up. Philanterol is a type of medicine called a long-acting beta-2 agonist. It works by stimulating receptors in the lungs called beta-2 receptors, which causes the muscles in the airways to relax and the airways to open up. It is important that you read the information leaflet provided with your inhaler as this will give detailed instructions on how to use and look after your inhaler. To use the inhaler you first need to prepare a dose for inhalation. To do this simply open the cover of the inhaler and slide it down until you hear a click. This shows that there is one dose ready to be inhaled. If you do not hear a click or the counter does not count down one dose this means that there is no dose ready for inhalation. So you should ask your pharmacist for advice or for a demonstration if you're having difficulty. Before you inhale the prepared dose, you should breathe out as much as is comfortably possible first. You should not breathe out into the inhaler, but then put the inhaler mouthpiece between your lips and close your lips firmly around it. This ensures that the air vents are not blocked by your fingers. Take one long, deep breath in and hold your breath for as long as possible. Then remove the inhaler from your mouth and breathe out slowly and gently. An oral elliptic inhaler should only be used during pregnancy or while breastfeeding if potential benefits of treatment to the mother outweigh the possible risks to the baby. If you're pregnant, suspect that you may be pregnant or, or breastfeeding, make sure to seek your doctor's advice. Some side effects of an oral elliptic may include dry mouth, sinusitis and sore throat. So for a complete list of the side effects, go to my website, lynchespharmacy.com. And remember that all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching and stay healthy and stay informed.